miss the weekend. Plan B with Serena Bellissimo. All you need for the weekend. The biggest stars. The biggest gossip. The biggest events. The biggest tunes. It's the weekend, baby. Your weekend fix. Will Poulter, great to talk to you. And you, and you. Good to talk to you too. Um, You've been very busy since I last spoke to you. I spoke to you for Weather Millers. Um, yes. And you have been doing so much in between and the roles that you've been picking are very varied. How are you choosing your roles? Are you actually choosing them or are they being offered to you? Do you have to audition anymore? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely I definitely have to audition um, for sure. And that's a process that is just as nerve-wracking as it always was. Really? And, uh, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I do find it... I do find it quite a scary process and I'm quite a kind of nervous performer um, particularly in auditions particularly when you don't have the part you know there's obviously um, much more uh, pressure added on to the experience but um, that being said um, I think you know in terms of like choosing the roles I'm kind of purposely trying to do things um, you know slightly differently and, and trying to trying to pick roles that are you know different from each other um, I've always kind of respected versatility in actors and you know I'm obsessed with those guys who more often are able to you know appear unrecognizable in in one role to the other well that's what i'm really loving because you know i first saw you in son of rambo which was very different to where the millers which is so different to galley in the maze runner what uh-huh. was it about galley that you went i have to be him <laughs> oh well thank you um I think you know it was exciting to be part of a of a movie you know of, of this scale with with such a kind of young talented up and coming cast, but primarily because I guess we belong in some respects to a genre that you know has recently been quite popular in that um you know it's it's a kind of uh, adventure action film uh, you know headed up by young people. But but the reason that I, I wanted to be involved in this one in particular is because it kind of differentiates itself from the others in its field. So, you know, uh, naturally we get compared to things like Hunger Games and, yeah. and Divergent. And um, I think that the main difference that kind of sets us apart from uh, from those films is the fact that, one, we have a male lead as opposed to a female. Two, the ensemble cast is almost entirely boys. Three, there isn't a romantic thread uh, at all, really. And the focus is just purely survival. And finally, it's not about competition within that group of young people. It's not about them being forced into competition with each other or about being pitted against one another. It's actually about community, about togetherness, about um, about kind of brotherhood and about coming together um, in order to in order to face kind of adversity. And that's that's far more exciting to me. Now you're good friends with Dylan O'Brien, who plays Thomas. Um, yeah. But your characters are always up against each other. I know you're acting right, but it still has to be weird where you're going. Okay, in this scene, you guys don't like each other at all. Go have it out. Is that really odd? It's really strange. I mean, it's really strange. I mean, Dylan and I met on this set and sort of hit it off quickly and became and became good buddies. So it was quite odd being in situations where you're literally, I mean, you hate each other and you're you're potentially, you know, uh, seconds away from coming to blows. Yeah, and that's kind of that's kind of a weird weird situation to be in and I guess that's the kind of I mean that's the challenge of acting you know it's not always there if you want to play you you have to kind of conjure up these kind of emotions and and you know do your best to kind of feel them for real yeah um but yeah it's the kind of scenes that me and Dylan you know enjoyed most the kind of heated scenes that's what you like that's what you kind of go to work for you know those those real intense moments and um they were they were my favorite scenes to shoot yeah now Gally is a, you know he's a real rule follower if you were in that situation would you be more like Gally or would you challenge the rules and go, no, I'm out there and I'm going to help my mates? Um, I think if I look back on my school career, I'd probably not go uh, along with the rules so well. Um, but that being said, um, I think, yeah, I mean, I think there's something in Galley that I really, really respected. Um, but I think there's something I identified with, which is actually not being that brave. You know, I think if I'm honest with myself, I would probably be confined to the Glade just for fear of what was out there in yeah. the maze. I'm not, I'm not really, I don't think, as brave as Thomas or as Dylan is, and I'm not sure... I think I'd be quite happy kind of setting up camp. And I'm also always wanting to, to be like a lost boy. And I felt like this was my kind of opportunity cool. <laughs> playing galley to kind of slightly be a lost boy. Yeah. And, and I um, I kind of love the idea of living out in the wilderness as much of a city boy as I am. I, I kind of could get used to it. <laughs> and finally, Will, lots coming up, um, especially Glassland with our very own Jack Rayner. Tell yeah, us a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, of course. Who's, who's absolutely awesome.
uh, Mr. Jack Rayner is, first of all, a legend, and I love him. And um, shooting Glassland was amazing. It was uh, one of the best experiences I've, I've ever had. Um, Jared Barrett, too, has become one of my favorite directors. I love, I love the way he works. And um, Glassland, I'm just incredibly proud to be part of. I mean, it's a really, really special kind of unique little drama um, that really kind of tugs on your heartstrings and, and makes no apologies for that. Um, since doing it, I'm in love with Dublin. Oh, well, Will, we can't wait to have you back here to talk to you about Glassland. But in the meantime, we can check you out in The Maze Runner. It is always a pleasure to speak to you and to see you doing so well. Thank you so much. Absolute pleasure.